Hello, all you wonderful people. For eons, humanity has stared at the moon in wonderment. The Egyptians, Babylonians, Indians, Chinese, Native Americans, and Africans worshipped the moon because they believed the phases of the moon were related to crop growth and development. On a lighter note, humans have a tendency of creating patterns when they look at things. So when they stared at the moon, they came up with different images in the moon. Some people see a person, like the New Zealand people. They see a lady, whilst the Germans see an old man. Some cultures see a frog or a toad, and a lot see a rabbit. The Japanese have a story of why the rabbit is in the moon. In the forest lived a monkey, a fox, and a rabbit. A man wandered into the forest, very hungry, and started begging the animals for food. The monkey quickly went to the trees and got fruit. The fox went to a river and got a fish. The rabbit realized he had no food, only grass. So he said, let's build a fire, and I will jump in it and be food for the man. The man said, stop, and revealed that he was truly the man in the moon. And he said, for your kindness, I will give you immortality in the moon. And instantly, he sent the rabbit to become one with the moon, showing his visage up in the sky. It must have been very painful for the rabbit. The moon man then twisted his mustache and said, ha, 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 monkey, fox, you're next if you don't give me the deed to this forest. Ha, 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 ha. And that, more or less, is the story of why the rabbit's in the moon. May that story be a lesson for those who like to do nice things or people with crescent-shaped heads. But the tradition of honoring the moon continues to this day. And tonight in Japan is the night to gaze at the moon in hope of a good future harvest. So I'm in a place called Sumiyoshi Shrine for a moon viewing festival because why not? If there was one thing that this shrine is architecturally known for, it's for its amazing circular, almost moon-like bridge. It also seems it's where the main festival events will be. I mean, no wonder why they picked this spot. The reflection in the water there makes it look like a full moon. It looks like there's a bit of a tea ceremony going on. I think they're giving mochi out, which is kind of funny because you know how English and American people, we think that the moon is made of cheese. Well, they think it's made of mochi, which if you ever tried mochi, it's a little dusty. I can imagine moon rocks tasting like that. I suppose that's why there's uh, mochi stores all around the shrine. Unfortunately, if you wanted to get in the main part of the shrine, it's completely closed. But I know a way to get in. You have to dedicate yourself to a religion for about 20 or 30 years, wear a white uh, suit and a little black thing on your head, and then you can go in there. My god, I've broken the code. I've got to break this to somebody. Hello? Mom? You're not going to believe what I just learned. They still have phone booths in Japan, uh, even though everyone has cell phones. So that bridge right there is completely off limits tonight. That's where the main part of the festival is gonna be. There's gonna be dancing. They're even gonna read poems from all around Japan, expressing their hope for a good autumn season and a good harvest. So if you didn't figure it out, this whole event originates from a place called China. So uh, you can thank the Chinese for this. If anyone ever offers to take you to Otsukumi, it literally is this, moon watching. I 
think I'm going to stick around for the entire ceremony, but it's nice to be able to do something simple like stare at the moon and hope for good things. Because even though I may not be a farmer, I can hope for positive things to change. Like I can hope that the rest of the year be good. I can hope that people's lives get better. I, I could even hope for peace. But right now, I hope when I walk home, I don't get hit by one of these Roman dentures or trolley cars as they call them out here. Oh, sorry, I got that confused. We call them trolley cars. They call them Roman dentures. You know, sometimes you gotta enjoy the simple things. But as they always say, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it. You guys stay groovy and have a wonderful day. Also, I just bought my tickets on the Shinkansen to Tokyo. I'm going in two days. Do you guys have any suggestions on places that I should go? If you want to recommend some place, leave a comment down below. Say, hey, go here, go here. I might check it out if I have the time. You guys stay groovy and have a wonderful day. Peace.